Hi, in today's video, you're going to learn about a simple strategy you can use to trade Crash 300. So, before I continue with what this strategy is all about, make sure that you use this strategy in on Crash 300 only. Don't use it on other indices. So, why am I saying so? Well, it's because when it comes to Crash 300, the lowest load size you can use is 0, 0.0. So all I have to do is simply double click there and enter 0 0.005. So with this lot size, you'll be able to trade against spikes without spikes blowing your account. Okay. So now that we understand why you should use this from Crash 300, let me first of all talk about the indicators which are here. From here, I'm going to talk about the zoom level. So for the indicators, these are the indicators which are here. Okay. And the first one is the Boilinger Bands. So on the Boilinger Bands, simply use the default uh, parameters, which are these. Okay, when you're done, the other indicator is the Relative Strength Index. So the Relative Strength Index is in Window 1, and these are its parameters. Okay, so when it comes to the levels, so these are the levels, so you can enter in uh, these levels to help you understand what these levels are okay from here we've got the moving average on the relative strength index with the parameters of this okay so these are so now let me talk about zoom level how far or how should you zoom in or zoom out okay almost all my videos i encourage and tell people to zoom out completely Okay, so if you zoom out completely, any strategy is going to work a bit efficient as compared with zoomed in. So let me zoom out completely. So I have now zoomed out completely. So this is cross 300. So when, for example, okay, you can use the strategy to trade against spikes and in favor of spikes, it's up to you. So in this case, if you're trading against spikes, what we have to do is first of all, zoom out completely, okay? And wait for the moving average in the relative strength index to cross below the 20 level. When that happens, you also have to wait for the, okay, for the what's this, for the price or the candles to hit the other or the this black, line on the moving up on the boiling up bands so these are the two confirmations you have to wait so in this case it hit on this part here but probably when you try to zoom in further you can find that uh, it did that so let me look for another opportunity so let's see okay so here as you well, okay the moving average crossed the below 20 and here now it's perfect okay the price of the candles did hit the boiling up bands okay multiple times so this is where you have to enter in your buy then you take profit can be at 50 level okay or whenever you feel like it's open and your stop loss should be your entry point if price goes beyond your entry point cross the trade find another good opportunity okay so this is cross 300 so when you want to sell what you have to do so if we don't to sell we first of all we have to wait for price or the moving average to cross above the 90 okay and you have to wait for the candles or the price to cross the boiling advance at its top level so these are your entries so for stop loss as well is your entry point okay if spikes or cross over your entry point you have to close okay and then your take profits can be at 50 or at any point you feel like so try out this shortage for on crush 300 and let me know how it goes bye for now see you in the next video